If you're looking for a handy, portable light, suitable for uh, tabletop product shooting, live streaming, video interviews, the Viltrox Spite 15 multifunctional panel light might just be it. In this video, I'll give my impressions, uh, test it out, and show it in use. Hi, Ray here. The Viltrox Sprite light comes in two versions, the 18 watt 15B bicolor and the subject of this review, the 15 watt 15C, which is a full RGB light producing 36,000 colors. In terms of uh, measurement in lux, the 15B puts out 1720 lux at half a meter, the 15C 1550 lux. I don't really pay attention to measurements like these. We'll look at what that means in practical terms later in the video. Both provide a variable light temperature from 2800 to 6800 Kelvin. It's certainly portable, measuring uh, 17 and a half by 11 and a half centimeters, 6.9 by 4.4 inches, about 39 millimeters or 1.5 inches deep and weighs in at 263 grams, which is just 9 ounces. The Sprite 15 lights are the baby brothers of the larger Sprite 40, 40 watt, and 20, 20 watt LED panels from Viltrox. The enclosure, it's all plastic, uh, but it, it really does appear to be quite sturdy. I wasn't sure at first. This part um, almost feels and sounds like metal, but Viltrox has confirmed it is all plastic construction. Passive cooling vents here, uh, not a fan. No, I don't mean I'm not a fan of those. I mean, <laughs> there's no fan in there. They're just passive cooling. The light does get fairly warm, not hot with extended use. That doesn't seem to affect its performance. It has the usual a quarter inch mounting hole. It comes with a uh, cold shoe mount right here and a USB A to C cable. The 15C has 225 light beads compared to the 15B's 198 beads. According to Viltrox's specs, the light boasts high CRI or color rendering index ratings, RA and TLC of 95 plus, which should guarantee pretty accurate color. And as far as powering this light, you can use an external NPF 7.5, uh, 7.4 volt battery or type C power. Viltrox says you can expect 120 minutes runtime from a 4400 milliamp hour battery. The unit itself ships with this um, 5500, 2200 milliamp hour battery, which um, according to my tests runs the light for a couple of minutes shy of an hour. You can also charge it there we are, via USB-C. I also have these um, NPF 5500S 2900 milliamp hour batteries that power the light for exactly 66 minutes. We can extrapolate that the rest of my collection of NPF batteries from uh, 5000 to 7900 milliamp hours will extend uh, that time accordingly. It also has inputs or a USB-C input for 5 volt 2 amp, 10 watt, 9 volt, 2 amp for 15 watt. So that means you'll get full 15 watts with a 9 volt PD power source. So for instance, uh, with any of my existing power banks, say like the uh, Anchor PowerCore 20,000 milliamp hour unit, I have one of those, I'm really set for as long as I'll ever need. Now, call me old fashioned, but I always prefer lights that can be controlled directly. So rather than relying uh, solely on an external app, or a controller. So this light has uh, such controls and if we plug in the battery here we can see that um, there's a power switch. At the top right we have the mode button to scroll through basic uh, CCT with brightness and color, temperature, as I say from 2800 to 6800 Kelvin and we can adjust the red and green balance. HSL where we can scroll through color temperature, RGBW to choose a bazillion combinations of red, green, blue, and white. Um, here we have uh, color, and here you can choose uh, Roscoe and Lee gel emulations, for instance. And the 15C has 
25 lighting effects, the usual including lightning, flash, emergency, uh, emergency vehicles, flame, candlelight, fireworks, <laughs> romantic? Perhaps that's uh, useful at weddings. With this control dial, um, with a press, we cycle through the options, and then um, we can use the dial to, uh, to, in this case, change through the scenes. The light can also be controlled with the optional RC11 remote and the excellent simple-to-use WeLight Pro app, which I've demonstrated in detail in another video. And so I'll link to that uh, specific demonstration in the description below. Again, choose our channels and access all the modes, CCT, HSL, RGBWY, color coordinates, color chips, and effects, as well as accessing the handy color picker. And you can also create custom scenes and save those for use later. This light is perfect for the aforementioned uses, for example, uh, shooting tabletop. I can see this as a great budget solution for someone who's shooting, say, small products for their website and or social media, you might consider it for live streaming. I see myself, really, carrying this on, say, run and gun jobs, mounting it on my video rig for location interviews. It's going to be perfect for that. And of course, you can combine the sprite lights with other lights to create a complete lighting solution, choosing from, as we've seen, uh, six groups, A to F, and 1 to 19 channels, accessible first on the lower right here, or through the app or remote control. More than enough, I think, to create a complete lighting setup. And of course, this is when those uh, remote control options are really appreciated. I've been using this light over the last month for most of the use cases that I've mentioned in this video. Tabletop, it makes a great little fill light. Um, that's actually what it's uh, advertised as. As a video light, I've been surprised that at 15 watts, it's quite usable as a key light in a pinch. And the light quality with the integrated um, diffuser is quite acceptable. Though Viltrox sent me this light to review and I get to keep it afterwards, they have no other say in, uh, well, what I say. <laughs> my opinions, as usual, are my own. If you're interested, I'll drop links in the description, some of which are affiliate links. So if you buy through those, I get a small commission at no extra cost to you. I hope you found this video useful. Please do give it the old thumbs up if you did. And if this is your first time here, we'd love to see you again. So please do consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In the meantime, take care, cheers, and we'll see you later.